Welcome to the Copywriter's Barbecue, episode one, take 27. I am your host, Keith Howard, and I'm very excited for this episode because I'm going to show you how Nick Yates yeets narrative transportation into sales. Now, this is a unique email breakdown show in that it has a barbecue theme. And the reason for that is I didn't really understand copywriting until I realized that it's assembled the same way that you assemble a great barbecue. So the ingredients that we're going to be looking at today in this email are WIFM, which is salt because you can't have a barbecue without salt and good luck writing a sales email without what's in it for me. But the question we're going to look at is, do story-based emails specifically need WIFM in the subject line? And also, we're going to take a look at narrative transportation. Um, and if better immersion into the story leads to better conversion. Uh, unfortunately, as I've learned from recording this like 400 times, we don't have time to go over authority and nostalgia in today's episode. So that will be the next episode. All right, really quick. This was written by Nick Yates, whose website is IamNickYates.com. There he is, handsome devil. Um, has a killer email list. I highly recommend it. Uh, it's one of my favorites. It's so good, in fact, that I use my real email. And it was written for copychief.com, which is my favorite website on the internet. Um, the target market, it's copywriters with clients who don't know how to scale up because they're only a single service provider. So they're basically running into a wall um, with how much money they can make from clients. The traffic source is email warm and the offer is a two day live coaching event, which is here. So yeah, beyond client work, um, two day event basically for copywriters to get personal coaching from Kevin Rogers and several other experts about how to create their own products and scale up their business. Um, and I'm kind of glossing over this here and I feel a little bit bad because I do really love Copy Chief. Um, but I want you to know that I did do my homework and I broke down this entire live event sequence, uh, but I don't have time for it in this episode. So if that's something that you would be interested in hearing about, uh, leave me a comment and I will put it onto the content calendar. But we're already three minutes in and I have not gotten to the email, so let's... Boogie. All right, first, um, I'm just going to let you read it. So here's the first part. Here's the second part. Third part. The ending. And the PS. So just go ahead. If you want to read it, pause the video and read it real quick. But I'm just going to jump in. So our first thing here, better story-based emails by sprinkling salt on the subject line. If we look here, our target market, again, it's copywriters. So our WIFM, what's in it for me, is very, very clear right here. How to grow your freelance business like Ford. So we've got our curiosity. We've got a little bit of authority and intrigue here, with a little bit of nostalgia. And by selling your sawdust, there's our big intrigue what does that mean? How can it benefit me? And I say this because I see a lot of emails where that don't have WIFM in the subject line directly connected to the target market's desires. And an example of this would be how Ford built a backyard empire with sawdust. You could argue that WIFM is still here because you get to read a cool story. But personally, I think if you can fit it in here and just make it really clear why they're reading the story, it's, I mean, comparing these two, it seems like it's much more effective in, to me. So it doesn't have to be there, but it is something you should keep in mind. 
And the next thing I want to look at is on my super nerdy markup version. Um, is narrative transportation and a cinematic opening. So if we look here, if you ever see a little smoke coming from East Texas, don't be alarmed. So this was narrative transportation number one for me. I saw the movie There Will Be Blood, like, um, like a helicopter sort of aerial shot. And I could see East Texas desert. I could see an oil rig and a little bit of smoke coming out. Um, also, very clever use of the verb here connected to the image by Nick Yates. And I love how he doesn't say imagine if or what if. It's, it's sort of a different line. And you'll notice here, if you ever see plus something they don't usually see, it immediately popped into my head. Um, so yeah, first narrative transportation, I see a movie. The next one is probably me next to one of my five grills and smokers. So we start at 500 feet and then we're at five feet. I'm standing on Nick Yates's back deck and watching him uh, use his grills and smokers. Next part here, I'm a big, big fan of anything involving meat and fire. So today I want to talk to you about, and this one I saw from five inches. So you have the coals and then you have the grill and then you have the pork chop. And finally we get down to our reveal. So to me, this is a cinematic opening. It's the same as a movie. We start with the helicopter shot, then five feet away, then five inches, and then reveal. Um, there is another narrative transportation here too. So, yep, I'm talking about those little black briquettes your dad used to grill the family food and probably used an absurd amount of lighter fluid to ignite. So for me, this one, I saw Homer Simpson, which is also a little bit of nostalgia. Um, so why, why did he go to all this trouble? What's, what's, like, what's the point? And if you look it up, there's actually a narrative transportation theory, which supposes the more a person loses themselves in the story, the more likely they are to adopt the attitudes and ideas of that story. So to wrap up today's episode, the first thing, try to get with them into your story-based subject line. And the second technique here is basically zooming in from an aerial shot to your reveal. And also this, if you ever see plus something they wouldn't see, bonus points if it's connected to a movie. Um, and down here, again, a little bit of nostalgia with your dad, or for me, I saw Homer Simpson, which I kind of enjoyed. So that's it for this episode. In the next episode, I'm going to break down uh, how you can create heart-stopping authority, how Nick Yates does this in this email. And also, just uh, I labeled nostalgia as rosemary because it goes really well with butter. Um, but yeah, that'll be episode two of the Copywriter's Barbecue. If you enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, download, upload, turn it into a Bitcoin, whatever. Um, and if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and I will see you in the next episode. Yes, finally.